I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about pencils. We are talking about pencils in relation to writing music notation and it's really really important to make sure that when we write music notation it's neat and tidy. Of course if you're doing an exam you need to have your answers neat and clear so that you don't risk losing any marks and so that of course is a very important thing to consider but ultimately we write music we are writing music notation to sort of convey our ideas of musical thought onto paper ideally somebody would need to be able to read these to then be able to play the music that we have written we are writing music and music needs to be understood to then be played and it's really really important to sort of develop our manuscript skills it takes time and it takes practice however the simplest of things makes all the difference and having the correct pencil is really really important it doesn't necessarily have to be an expensive pencil it's just understanding the pencil that you're using and what works best for you in your manuscript situation so we're going to be talking about H and B pencils I have a selection here now I am an absolute stationary hoarder I would happily have hundreds and hundreds of pencils and pens and paper and erasers I am a stationery hoarder and I'm happiest of all in a little stationery shop however I have had to thin down my stationery supplies to just basically two very simple pencils and an eraser and a ruler so let's just talk about the pencil options because we have an array of H and B pencils so I have here quite a selection that we'll talk about in turn now my husband is an artist and so I've managed to discuss this over the years in great length H and B stand for hardness or black so a HB pencil which is the usual that most people use literally a sort of in the middle a middle hardness middle blackness and so a standard HB pencil is okay and if that's all that you've got great however make sure it's sharp that's the worst thing ever is to have a really blunt pencil it's just impossible to make music notation neat with a very very blunt pencil and so if you've just got a standard pencil the only thing that you can do is just keep sharpening it so a HB pencil is in the middle of the spectrum. Now interestingly, if you're buying, say for example, a Norris pencil, these are the really famous like the school pencils, these are from Statler or a, a Dale or Rowney or something like that, one of the sort of more expensive pencils, the HB tends to be kind of standard, but there is no absolute standardized version of what HB actually is. And so, if you buy an uber cheap like pack of 100 from the pound shop HB and compare that to say for example a still relatively cheap HB this Oxford that came in a little Mac math set I think um, these two HB pencils are massively massively different this pound shop cheapy is um, super sharp and um, then when you're writing it's also really really hard and so it really digs into your page this Oxford pencil again is nice and sharp but it's much softer and much darker than this one and I always use this one if I have to just grab a quick pencil um, so it, they're both sharp but I wouldn't choose to use this one I would always use this one in my manuscript and that brings me to the point why we don't want a hard pencil because when you're writing in your music theory or writing music notation chances are you will have to erase something and so you need a decent eraser these on the ends of the pencils are notoriously bad for smudging so I wouldn't go for that you need one second just have a rummage here oops a decent eraser but if you're using a really hard pencil 
which this cheapy HB one is, you will inevitably end up with like indentations on your page and you can't rub that out. It's sort of dug into the page, it's chiseled in, whereas this one will rub out nice and neatly. Now I get constantly weary of sharpening pencils and so I always use these mechanical pencils. Now these are some that I've just raided from my hubby's technical drawing stash. You don't necessarily have to pay a lot of money for them. You can get mechanical pencils quite cheaply, you know, just sort of a pound shop jobby and just sort out which lead you put inside and then you're not continually sharpening pencils and you can just concentrate on your work a little bit more instead of continually having to stop and keep sharpening. That's the last thing you want to be doing in an exam for sure. Now I particularly prefer to use a 2B. So we're just going to go back to the H and the B scenario for a little while and then we'll come back to these mechanical pencils again in a moment. So we dealt with HB which is ordinarily kind of in the middle but within the cheaper options there are degrees of change. Now I have a selection here from my hobby stash and we'll just look at the different options. So H means hard and so the higher the number, the harder the lead, or well, it's never lead. Actually, that's a, that's a myth. Let's just talk about that. There has never been lead in pencil. It's always been graphite, uh, even from, I think it was from the medieval period when they first came upon graphite. It's always been graphite, never lead. That's a bit of an urban myth there. So when we're talking about 2H, that's kind of just edging over from the middle HB into sort of getting slightly harder lead. 4H, where's that? Here, that's um, pretty hard. And then I have here as well a 6H. Now that is super, super hard. I would never ever use that for any sort of writing. The only reason my hobby's got this is because he uses it for very, very fine shading. He would never use it for sort of a, a writing scenario or sort of um, any sort of blackness or deep colour. And he perhaps also uses these hard high number H pencils for tracing down, like drawing down on a traced um, grid as it were. So I would never ever use any form of H pencil for music manuscript. They are really not appropriate because if you write on your page, you're only ever gonna get a really light mark. Your notes are gonna be really, really light. And then if you ever want to rub something out, you're gonna have a big deep gouge in your page. So we would never ever use any H pencil. So they can just go away. And then we have the B. Spectrum. Now B means black, so they're very soft and they're very dark. I would always recommend a 2B and that's kind of your standard sketching pencil. I would always just stick to 2B. I wouldn't go any softer, so we have a, an 8B here. That is like super soft. It's going to be really smudgy. You're going to be rubbing, um, you're going to have really thick dark lines. It would rub out easily but um, I would say it was just too soft and smudgy. We have a 9B here, we're going further and further down that road, and the more B, as it were, that you get, you can end up with almost like a charcoal pencil effect. So I wouldn't go too far down that sort of B road, but 2B is about spot on for music notation when you're writing your manuscript uh, for music. So 2B, I would suggest, is the best optimum. If you're not going to just stick with HB, I would prefer always to go with 2B. So pop those away. And so back to these. So both of these mechanical pencils have 2B leads in them. These are really old Stettler ones. I think they just live on forever. So if you don't mind spending a little bit of cash, I do think they are, um, in the long term, really worth the purchase. Now, here I have two different sorts. This one, with the orange tip at the top, is a 0.5 lead, 0.5 millimetre. And this one with the blue top is a 0.7 millimetre. And then you buy the leads accordingly, and the leads 
have the colour coding to match the pencil sort of cases as it were. Now for music notation I tend to prefer the 0.7 um, so it's a 2B and it's a 0.7 millimetre pencil purely because I think when you're writing lots and lots of notes that slightly thicker lead saves you quite a lot of sort of colouring in as it were with a slightly smaller um, lead in the in the nib as it were so I tend to use the 0.7 but you know if I just happen to grab the 0.5 it doesn't matter that's just the job anyway and then if I rub out it's not going to make a massive mess on my page and um, it's going to be nice and soft and easy to work with and I use the propelling or the mechanical just so that I can just keep going I don't have to stop and sharpen it all the time so maybe it would be helpful if you just sort of hang on in the video for a little bit longer and you can just have a look at the demonstration that I'll show you, just demonstrating all of these different leads in your pencils to see which pencil you think is going to be most appropriate. I think the 2B and I particularly like the 0.7. However, you will see how even just the cheapy HB is actually quite a nice pencil. You're just gonna have to keep sharpening it but you might consider that the really, really cheapy ones just aren't worth them either. So hang on in the video and have a look at um, my little demo and then see what you think and experiment a little bit. It's really worth just taking a moment, getting your equipment just right and then you can just concentrate on the music. So here we are at the desk. We've got a, a bit of a scientific experiment experiment going on here. So I've got my various pencils. We don't need the ruler, I don't think. So let's start off in the middle with the HB scenario. So this pencil just would not do for writing notation. It's just way too blunt. There you go. You can see that's just like dreadfully messy, isn't it? But so there's our Norris Stedler pencil. If we sharpen it, I'll just give this a quick sharp now to show you just the difference a sharp pencil makes. And there we go. That does the job if that's what you need to do. Just keep sharpening it. So that's our kind of mid-range, mid-quality HB pencil, middle blackness kind of does the job generally speaking. Now if we go to the pound shop cheapy pencil, so I'm just going to sort of do another mark next to that. It's okay, it's a little bit darker though, perhaps I pressed on a bit more, but if we just go to erase, so let's just erase that and then I'll erase the Norris pencil and you can see the mess that is left behind by the cheaper one. You've got to really go at it with the eraser to get rid of that. Whereas now I shall show you the Oxford pencil, which again, it's HB. It's just the middle hard, middle black, but it just feels so much softer, much, much nicer to work with. And then if I rub that out, I've got a new rubber though, I haven't tried this one before. That's just proved me wrong, hasn't it? Because that seemed to take quite a lot of rubbing out, but actually it just feels nicer. So I think maybe personal choice is part of that as well. It just feels a much softer writing experience than this one. This is the 2B that I usually use. So we're sort of now branching. So that was, if I just write there, HB. So now we're branching into the blackness side. So this is the 2B. That's the 0.5. And then this is the 0.7. Just, I've got so much less work to do. That was a dreadful treble clef. Although I, f I feel okay because Mozart did pretty dreadful treble clefs, so we're okay. So if I just rub that out, and it's just much easier to get rid of those marks. Now if I go to the H side, so let's pick, um, or let's go crazy and do the 6H. 
well I mean it's just way too light to start with and it just feels like I'm writing with a with a nail and then if I try and rub that out for such a light mark it's just not going it's, it's just not going anywhere I'm just losing my eraser before my very eyes and there's great big gouges in the paper so even though perhaps I felt like it took a bit of rubbing out here there's no big sort of dents into the paper whereas here it's just like it's just not going away so H is certainly not the way to go the 2H which is in the middle is a bit less sort of extreme not so bad but it's just a little bit on the light side for me for writing music oh what was that there okay so now moving on to the B so we've done 2B so that's 2B there with written with a cheapy HB pencil that was confusing it's a good job it's not a real scientific experiment isn't it so this is a 4B now this feels like it's just all crumbling away as I write so it's very pleasant but you're going to be sharpening your pencil all over the place and it's it's really smudgy so it'll rub out nicely but I mean touch it with your hand and your paper's wrapped and it's quite dark as well so again it's going to take some shifting although it won't dig into your page it's quite dark and if I go really crazy the 8 boo look at that it's just I feel like I'm drawing with cream cheese it's very grainy very flaky that is not the pencil you want to be using there so um I think you need to just experiment and try but my advice would be HB and if possible some sort of mechanical pencil I do hope that's helpful to you have a little practice let me know what you think thanks for watching Thank you.